In case you're wondering when exactly you'll get your breakthrough in trading and become profitable, well, that depends for most people, but we'll talk about this in this video today. What's up, traders? Welcome back to Bangkok and Thailand once again. Before we dive into the video today, I want to remind you to subscribe to the channel if it's not done yet. I publish videos like this almost every single day. My goal here is to be able to bring you tips and support on a daily basis for you to achieve your goals and become a full-time trader eventually. But you got to show me your series, of course, by hitting the subscribe button, that we will be notified of future videos. And click the bell next to it, of course, as well. Over the past few years, I taught many traders to trade full time and to get profitable first. But I realized that not all of them get profitable in the same time frame. Some people might take one year, some people might take 10 years. It totally varies. So I thought I would make a video today to share with you some tips on how to get there faster, how to get to either mastering trading, which we'll talk about, or being profitable faster, and some things to avoid, of course, so that you don't fall behind and never reach your goals of trading full time. So that's really important for you to understand. Let's dive right in. The title of this video here is how to master trading and how long it's gonna take for you to be able to master trading. Now I wanna make this important point because that's super important to know. If you think you've mastered trading, you're probably about to blow up or have a big mistake in your trading. And that's because of the fact that no one really masters trading. All the big traders you see out there, the successful ones and the highly successful ones, they never think they master trading. They think that they're getting better at it. They for sure have good results with it, but they don't think they master trading. And most people will tell you that when they feel they got a grasp of it and they really master trading for real, they just have a big mistake coming ahead of them and that they will likely get punched in the face. So that's important for you to understand. If you think you're there, take a look. If you're really confident about things and you're like, oh, I'll get millionaire in like a week from now with these results probably you won't get there. Probably there will be something punching you in the face and you'll have to get back and do things again. So just be careful. First thing to understand that's important. Now before you move on, tell me in the comment section, comment below and tell me how long you've been trading for now. Have you been trading for two years, five years, maybe just like six months, totally fine. Let me know in the comment below. I want to know kind of who I'm talking with and what you guys need as well. So based on your answers, I can do videos that will target more these needs, these periods of trading. So I'd like to know how long you've been trading below in the comment section. Now, the issue with becoming profitable and getting really good results and kind of not mastering trading, but getting really good at it is that most people waste a lot of time doing it. They do this in three ways. The first way is strategy jumping. So you change system every week or every month and you never get good results or consistent results with your systems. That's the first big mistake. That's the first way you waste a lot of time. The second way people waste time is they learn from the wrong people. So what if you're following these, perhaps baby pips, baby pip is good, but you won't become a full-time trader from there. Or what if you follow these like sites that talk only about the lifestyle and they tell you to use moving averages and suddenly you become a millionaire. Those things are the wrong places to learn trading from, right? You gotta be able to learn from people who are doing it, people who are experienced, and people who are already much ahead of you. Those usually won't be people who have cars and expensive houses and mansions. They're going to be people in the field or people who've been doing it and getting good results with. I know for a fact that most traders don't waste their money on cars because they want to invest in a new account, they want to grow bigger. And cars don't make them fulfilled. Trading or helping people does. So that's my two cents here, but I recommend you follow people that will help you get to your goals. And that could be my channel or not, it doesn't matter to me. The point is you have to be learning from people who are doing what you want to do and have the means to help you get there. Third way most people waste time is not doing what they should do. Like you know you should be doing something, you know you should be practicing your plan. You know for sure because you heard it before that you should be training something that's been tested and proven. You know for a fact that you need to work on your mindset, be more disciplined. But are you doing it? Most people will say no and then you ask them why. It's like, oh, it's too hard to do, right? But they know they should be doing it. They know they should be doing those things or they know they should journal too, but they don't do it. Why is that? Well, because Either they don't have the right motivation to do it, or they just don't want to be doing something hard to make money. They want to be doing something easy and make money automatically. Again, that doesn't work in trading. So if you waste time, it's going to take more time for you to get to your goals of trading full time. If you don't waste time, you'll get there faster. I wasted my first two years of trading by trying to do everything myself, trying to learn from books, trying to learn from articles online and videos, and I couldn't do it. All right. But that's because I didn't want to invest in some things or invest in a platform or software or whatever. I wanted to be able to get there faster by myself and it didn't work. So you have to think about yourself. Do you want to do it your own way, which can take a lot of time or maybe get the help of other people who are qualified to help you, who have been helping other people in the past too. Or maybe you just start to meet more traders. That's the way to take it more seriously. You go around your town, your, your city or whatever place you live in try to meet traders and try to connect with them, surround yourself with more traders, which is gonna have a big difference 
and a big impact on your results eventually. Okay, so the third aspect here I wanna give you today, the third insight is that usually mindset is what takes the most time in trading. Now you might think, oh, well, mega strategy is gonna take a week and I'll be done with it, but then you gotta work on your mindset after. And mindset is the biggest part of trading, it's what takes most time, what people struggle with the most, so you gotta be able to take the time to master it. And you have to work on different things based on who you are. I know for me, I had to work on being more consistent, especially after having good months or good periods of time in trading. Now it's gonna be different for you. It might not be exactly the same, you might have the same thing too. But you gotta figure out your issues, what things you struggle with, and then work on those things. I would highly recommend here getting a coach. That's how I've been able to get ahead of, of myself in trading, is getting a coach on the mindset. And I recommend you do the same. I think you could do it yourself, but then you would spend too much time or find a friend who's a psychologist, if you have some friends doing that, and that could be a way to do it. But I really recommend to find someone that can help you with that part, if you wanna be able to do it faster, and reach your goals of training full time faster than most people. Okay, now my point four, let's talk about how you actually get there. How do you get to becoming a profitable trader the fastest way? How do you actually do it? And the answer here is by focusing on mastering all the different aspects of trading. Now you cannot master trading as a whole, you cannot be like fully a pro in the market all the time, but you can master different parts of trading. So you can master your money management, you can master your strategy, you can master your style, and you can eventually over time, slowly master your mindset. If you master these three things throughout and progressively, then you'll be able to get really good results in trading. But you gotta not like jump between all these things at once, not like try to one week learn strategy, one week learn the mindset, then uh, you do nothing for a month. You gotta learn these things and master them progressively. So pick one thing now that you feel you have an issue with, you have a problem with, you have a, a hard time understanding, and work on that for at least a month to three months. That should be your focus for the next three months, minimally. And once you've done that and you've learned that thing really, really deep down, move on to the next thing. Maybe the next thing is your strategy. You wanna improve your system. Work on that. Maybe the next thing is your mindset. Work on that for three to six months. And, that's, and doing that will make it that in about a year and a year and a half, you can get to trade profitably. And that's only because you've mastered all the parts, you've been focused on what you work on and you've made a plan for that. Now, I highly recommend you don't put a timeline on your trading. That's the worst thing you can do is decide that always oh, get a goal to get there by the end of the year and then you don't get there. I use myself to get frustrated a lot because of that. I would set a goal for one year, not achieve it, and then I would get pissed off because of that. But then I learned from my coaches and my mentors that it's not because you set a goal for one year that you have to achieve it in that year. You can roll over it next year. That's totally fine. You shouldn't be feeling bad or, or pissed off because of that. That's part of nature. That's part of how our life goes is you set goals, you might or might not reach them and that's totally fine. But you keep working on them in the future. That being said, I've put together for you a trader growth plan that I have. It's a template I use to be able to plan my years, decide on what I wanna work on, what are my goals for the year, what are my skills I'm gonna work on, and some planning for the months coming. So I will leave that below for you, the first link in the description. Uh, you can check it out, download it for free of course. I'll give you that so you are able to plan your year right now, get ahead of most people, and become a, a trader faster than most people can. So check this out, fill it in, and if you wanna send me on Instagram or something, connect with me there. I'll be happy to give you some tips, help you out. Uh, just send me a message there, or by email as well. Those links will be below as well in the description or on the screen right here for Instagram. Subscribe to the channel if it's not done yet. There's a video like this almost every single day. This week I'm on vacation, but I'll be back pretty soon. And I'll catch you back here in the next video pretty soon. Ciao.